I had another critical uh, recall of memory. Mr. Chase, vice principal at Sykesville Middle. He was the only man I knew who could make me feel disappointment like my mother. And I remember that day acutely. It was the day I called Mrs. Ader a bitch. And Facebook, don't censor this. I'm just telling a true story and I apologize to Mrs. Ader today for that. She was my ELA teacher. I don't know why I called you a bitch and I apologize wholeheartedly for that. You were a young teacher, new, and I was angry at you for something and I, all the things you must have put up with. Oh, that's why I'm in elementary school, girlfriend. I could never go to middle or uh, high school. It terrifies me to think of the uh, things that could come of, come out of my uh, their their mouths. I could have never put up with it. So this is my apology to you, and my mad props to both you if you stuck it out, Mrs. Ader, and to Mr. Chase who just retired recently. I love you both newer educators who put up with a girl who had a lot of problems. She didn't have a lot of people to talk to. She really wanted someone to hear her. And they heard her too late. And I am so sorry that you guys had to be the ones to experience that outburst. But please know your role as educators in my life was profound. And that's tr what I'm going to try and impress upon in these videos that my life has been very difficult and I chose education for a reason. You guys have been important to me because you had an effect on my soul and now my soul wants to continue to protect children. So why? Are we fighting for such little pay? I'm so sorry, Mr. Chase and Mrs. Ader, that you were paid so little to deal with a brat like me. 